Uh, so this is my final assembly for my Veter Scout. This is my little bot um, that has the MKR uh, Vita 4000 FPGA SAMD board on top here. It's uh, mounted on top of a MKR to Uno board, but I was not able to power that directly um, from the the MKR to Uno board. For some reason, I couldn't get enough power to power everything, so I went straight into the Vita board um, via battery pack. You can kind of see it smashed in there at the bottom. So I got a battery pack, and then I have a two two sharp IR sensors on either side. I got the time of flight sensor in the mi middle here, and then uh, I got the camera and the two IR sensors. Now the IR sensors I had a problem; it wouldn't power through the uh, to the Vita, so I added a battery pack, which I can turn on and off, and then that sits on the back here. You can see it right there. So a couple of double uh, triple A's back there, oh, and then the back. I have uh, the Neo Pixel strip. It should have something there right now. I just have a blinking. It kind of sees the QR code right now. Um, so, and then I have the motor controller on the bottom, right here in the back. And then I have my gear motors on the bottom. And then I got these little swivels that I found. They went to something, some cabinet or something like that. So I'm gonna put this on here because I don't want it to roll away. And so basically what this is supposed to do is supposed to navigate into a maze using the IR sensors um, on the side and then a time of flight um, to indicate if it got close to something. And the time of flight sensor got off again. We'll go off. There it goes. Shouldn't be too close for it. Um, so I'm going to put this over here. So I can wire this up. Then power it. It's just to enable the motor controller. And so the IR sensors would cause it to go left or right. You can kind of hear them. And the time of flight would cause it to stop. If a couple things happen there. So this one would cause it to go one way, just go another way. And this thing would search around for the QR code, and as it finds the QR code, to the LED blinking. And then as it gets close enough to it, it stops. So right there, it stops. So it identified the QR code with the blinky light, and then the time of flight causes it to stop so it doesn't run into it. And then so it's kind of working together. Um, so uh, that's pretty much what I have. Um, there's a lot more I wanted to do. I actually wanted to run it through a maze, and it's not quite working right. So let's get up close. Yeah. There it goes. It kicked off. Sort of. And uh yeah. So it should be turned around. And I can completely stop it. Yeah. And so there's uh, a little beater scout. I need some work. But uh I used uh expanded PVC, which uh, I found in uh the Gordon book. Um the McComb book, uh, he used that a lot. I found it at a local cap plastic. I got four pieces, they're like 12 by 12, 12 inch by 12 inch, little sheets for a buck because they're a scrap. So uh, that kind of worked out. And then uh, these pieces I found on Thingverse and then 3D printed those. So uh, there we go. Uh, that's pretty much what it all does for right now. There's a lot of stuff I want to do on the FPGA side and other things. To get this going, I'm using the the Bitstream uh, rebrand thing, not the one actually from um, the Arduino site, but there's another one that was forked off that somebody created that seemed to work better. Um, so that's what we got, and uh, that's what I have so far.